minutes. Uh, my name is Dave Woods. I'm a city councilor and I'm the acting mayor for the month of February. So we're going to have a call to order of the uh, council and committee agenda. And uh, we're going to have a delegation. It's Mr. Bill Roach, uh, the student and entrepreneur coordinator, Power Play Strategies, and Anita Hubberman from the uh, Surrey Board of Trade, the CEO. Thank you. Hi, Anita. Hi. So, Mayor and Council, there is something really exciting happening at the Surrey Board of Trade. We're part of a Youth Entrepreneurship and Advocacy Action Plan, otherwise known as YEP. We are approaching grade four to six students. We're approaching high school students. We're approaching young adults to teach them how to be the job creators of tomorrow through entrepreneurship. And yes, finding career pathways is important for our youth, but the real opportunity, though, as we build our city of the future together is to build our entrepreneurs. The Surrey Board of Trade, with the City of Surrey's support, has developed a variety of programming and advocacy under the YEP program. Three of the programs are in partnership with Power Play Strategies, where together we are committed to helping Surrey's youth develop the tools they need to thrive in the new economy. Today, our Grade 6 winner of the Fall 2016 program will be presenting his product. And Power, Pay, Power Play Strategies is the key to providing a program that provides a real-world platform for young entrepreneurs to create business plans, products, and marketing materials, and especially to earn real money. To tell you more, I'm going to introduce Bill Roche of Power Play Strategies. Bill, there you are. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. As Anita was saying, this is uh, a partnership that we're quite excited about. Um, we work, this particular program is offered through grades four through eight, and the students create their own business plans, they develop products and marketing materials, but the most exciting piece is that they get to sell their products at a real life event called the Young Entrepreneur Show. So they interact with customers, um, they have to think, solve problems at, you know, as they come up, they have to be creative and use the communications skills to create success. So the beauty is that it really gives them that real life experience. The other key component, which we're particularly proud about, is that the students are donating to charity. They, they all are earning money, but they all make a, a commitment to donate a portion of their profits. We challenge them to donate 10%, and some, as you'll find out even with Cameron, decide to uh, even donate more. So they all investigate and research different charities, and then they make that donation. So they get to experience not only the impact of being able to earn money and take care of themselves, but also to get out there and make a difference in their communities. So all of the teachers guide the process. Uh, they receive full resource packages, and parents play a very integral role as well in terms of helping their kids uh, develop their business plans, make their products at home, and of course prepare for that exciting business experience. So. I just want to introduce you to our grade six winner from the fall. And this young man really inspired me because he came up with an idea that was not only exceptionally creative, it was a simple idea when you hear the name, but it was the, his, his twist on it was so quite, it was quite powerful and it's fun to see how he has really elaborated on the idea and has plans to build on his business experience. So please welcome Cameron Adamson. Acting Mayor Her um, Woods, members of Surrey Council, my name is Cameron Adamson, and today I am presenting to you Sidekick Bookmarks, which I designed a little f over four months ago now. I think my bookmark is different than most because it sticks out of the side of a book instead of the top. I had never seen this type of bookmark before. Here, let me show you. How about you show us? You got, you, were you going to show us? Yeah, he's hanging it out. Okay. So as you can see, there is an additional feature, which is a slip cut into the middle of the bookmark. This is designed to help reader, readers mark the exact sentence where they left off at, so they do, do not forget their place in the book. 
We can hold it up here and you can, ex I'll hold it for you and you explain, see? So, there's a sweat cut Oops. here and it marks the exact, the exact sentence that you leave off at. So, you don't read, so you don't read like the same sentence or like to help distracted readers. So. Super, okay. Young kids and elderly could use this book as a tool to help guide them down a page line by line so they do not make the mistake of reading the same sentence twice. Here's a copy of my business plan for you to look at, but I forgot to bring the other copy, so. <laughs> um, I'll bring it up after. So, my goals are to make my product successful, to make people happy with my product, to make at least $20 or more, to get a good mark on my product, to start my own business in the future, and to support the SPCA by giving them 10% of my earnings. I'm selling bookmarks that have different design like minion stickers, frozen stickers, and many more. They are offered in different colors and sizes. I used Bristol board and taped the whole thing because I did not have a laminator. I think it is unique because the bookmark works differently than a lot of other bookmarks. My bookmark sticks out of the side of the book instead of the top. It also features the exact line that you left off at in the book, and you will never lose your place. This is a perfect gift for, gift for anyone that likes to read but is often distracted or has dyslexia. This, okay, no. And here. I also asked the print shop that did my laminating if they would sell my product at their front counter if I were to do this a full time. They said they would. My product cost 91 cents to make and was sold for $2 to $3, depending on its size. That means that I sold each bookmark between double to triple the cost of making it. If I were to sell Sidekick bookmarks full time, I would do things a little differently. For instance, I would mass produce the, put, pro, the bookmark so I could laminate it all the way to the edge with no margin. And I would also have it die cut in three sizes so it would take less time to make them and look more professional. I would also make it for all ages, children, parents, elderly, some will have cartoon characters on them, and some will be designed for adults. They will all be in different colors and sizes. My target market would be teachers, children, parents, elderly, and easily distracted readers. I would then market my product at all bookstores, libraries, daycare centers, schools, seniors, residents, and department stores. I would also create a website so people could order them online. Thank you for listening to my presentation, and if you have any questions, I would be happy to answer them for you at this time. Does anybody have any questions? Very good idea. Oh, okay, uh, we're gonna uh, <laughs> go to Councillor Hain, first of all. Thanks, Mr. Chair. And uh, well, first of all, congratulations on on uh, on winning this and uh, and taking your product to market and right the way through the development. It's uh, it's great to see young entrepreneurs in this city, uh, obviously coming up with such a what a unique and clever idea. So I, I commend you on that, and uh, I know that we're going to hear more from you in the future uh, as you uh, take your entrepreneurial career forward. So just a, a real congratulations and uh, um, just good luck with the uh, with the project. Thank you. 
Thank you, uh, Madam Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Cameron, I'm so proud of you. And you know what? You are the very reason that we call this a smart city. You show uh, what creative spirit there is in the city of Surrey, and you've done a great job with a presentation in front of what lots of people at the back of the room would consider a scary audience. So you are just bound for success, and you've done an amazing job there, and I wish you everything in the future. And I think we might even have a little bit of something special to give to you today to say how proud we are of you. I'll leave that to the chair, but uh, uh, my very, very congratulations on a great project and for advancing the city of uh, Surrey, the city of the future, and the future lives here. And with people like you in our city, the future looks very bright indeed so congratulations thank you good councillor frank thank you, thank you mr chair i'd also like to congratulate you cameron i have a business degree from sfu and i i this is an amazing business plan and um, i've seen a lot worse from my colleagues so uh, you've done a really good job and uh, i'm so impressed actually with your invention uh, this is something that I think many people can use, and uh, you should be very proud of yourself. And I would just concur with both Councillor Hain and, and the Mayor about how um, thrilled we are to have you as part of our community. Congratulations. Thank you. Very good. Councillor Gill. Thank you. Chair Cameron, I also want to take the opportunity to congratulate you, but uh, certainly I'm going to pass this off to my son. He doesn't do too much reading, so hopefully we can get him motivated with the <laughs> things that you've developed here today. But the question I have for you, young man, is who financed you to help you get started in this business? And are you going to pay them back? Um, my mom helped me, and I already paid my loan back to her. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Councillor Starchuk. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Cameron, like, like my other colleagues, I am just thrilled to see this. As soon as I grabbed this and put it on, onto the place on my, on my desk and started using it, I haven't been this happy since, well, since the Patriots won the Super Bowl. Um, <laughs> but it actually, for a person like myself that uses e-readers for just about everything, I'm actually intrigued now to actually go buy a book and actually use this product because that was one of the things that always kept me away from it and where an e-reader came into play. So thank you very much. Um, this is just going to inspire me to put a little bit more weight in my luggage. <laughs> Councillor Steele. Thank you very much, and congratulations, Cameron. Uh, this, is a, this is a great idea, actually. Uh, when I received it right away, I thought my granddaughter is struggling a little bit in school to keep her mind on what she's doing. And the question is always, where are you? Oh, I lost my place. Now she won't have to lose her place. This is a great, great idea. Um, it's, it's wonderful that you've marketed it, that you've done it yourself, and congratulations. And I'm sure, um, I think it was Councillor Starchuk that said, or Councillor um, LaFranc that said possibly it would be good when we're reading our packages in the binders rather than <laughs> online, that it might keep us focused on what we're doing. So thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, yes, I also want to offer you congratulations, uh, Cameron. And uh, we're going to have you come forward because we got a certificate of special recognition for you and we got a little gift for you. But well done. And uh, like has been said, you're raising the city of Surrey right to the front. Thank you very much.
return these items. I will return. Thank you. We can keep the book. We can keep this. Thank you very much. Um, the presentation. So call for adjournment, please. So second. All in favor? Contrary.